Hello everyone, it's Anthony Adolf here. It's Transport Month on the Jeans Reunited Family History Channel. And here's a film about a family who've been busy transporting British royalty on the Thames. First, why don't you subscribe to the channel by pressing that little button just there. Boats on the River Thames have always been popular. We hire boats to the public to enjoy the river. Enchantress has carried the Queen when she was a princess in 1946. Well, it's something special, it really is. These boathouses were built by my grandfather, William Hobbs, yep. Harry Hobbs' son. Hi, Jeans, I'm Tony Hobbs. I'm 80 years old. I'm the fourth generation of direct line of the Hobbs family in the business. My son is the fifth generation. Hi, Jeans, I'm Jonathan Hobbs. I am managing director of Hobbs of Henley, which has been going since 1870. And we've been a boat building and boat charter business since that time. We provide lots of people with a great way of enjoying the river. Our family have a family tree going back to 1490. We were originally farmers up to 1850 approximately, when great-grandfather Harry Hobbs decided to finish with farming, came to Henley and became the publican of the ship pub, and from outside the pub was a commercial wharf and they started hiring fishing boats. And they worked very, very hard and they expanded and in 1898, they built the premises that we operate from now. In Edwardian times, the expansion on the river was tremendous. The boat hire business expanded dramatically. So Harry Hobbs had six sons, and my grandfather, William Hobbs, who had now taken over the business from his father, bought three or four other boatyards on the Thames, and the brothers went to these boatyards and ran them. Henley Regatta began following the success of the Oxford and Cambridge boat race. When the Oxford and Cambridge boat race moved to London, the local publicans, hoteliers and business people in Henley thought, what a shame, we've lost an event which attracted people to Henley and spent money in Henley. So they came up with the idea of hosting a regatta and then it started attracting crews from all over the world. One of the most important things at Henley Royal Regatta is umpiring the races. And in Victorian times and Edwardian times, they used steam launches, which weren't all that satisfactory because if they ran out of steam halfway up the course, they couldn't keep up with the race. So, Grandfather decided that he would build an umpire launch with a petrol engine in 1913. The umpire launches, in the past, they've all carried royalty. Amaryllis once carried Princess Margaret at the Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Enchantress has carried the Queen when she was a princess in 1946. Well, it's something special. It really is. In World War II, businesses like ours were almost closed down. There was no petrol available for motorboats. A lot of the staff went to war. They decided to continue with hiring punts and skiffs. This is self-propelled boats without engines. People would come out of London, only too pleased to get away from the bombing, and hire camping punts, go on a camping punt for a couple of days with a primer stove and a bottle of water. Boats went from the river to Dunkirk, but the type of boats that we had were unsuitable because they were just river craft, really. So the motor boats were just laid up in sheds for four or five years. Boats on the River Thames have always been popular before train travel, people used to travel town to town on steamers on the Thames. And I think that romantic notion of being on a steamer boat, travelling along the Thames and enjoying the countryside still exists. Long may it exist because it's the core of our business, that sense of people wanting to get out onto the river to enjoy the moving scenery. Bye, Bye Jeans! <laughs> it's really worth joining the Jeans Reunited website because it'll give you access to loads of original records that you can use to trace your family tree. Have you ever been to the Henley Royal Regatta? If you have, we'd like to know about it. Let us know using the little comments box you'll find just under there.